patients come to see me because they've either uh, experienced vertigo episodes or they're imbalanced and they come and we check the energy to see if that's what's causing the dizziness or the imbalance issues. Patients that are coming in for ENG testing, we ask them to do um, a number of things to prepare for the test. Um, one would be um, medications. Certain medications suppress the vestibular system, so we ask that they be off the medication 24 hours prior to testing. We ask that the patient um, is in EPO three hours prior to testing, and that they just dress comfortably. And for the women, um, we ask that they have no eye makeup on, especially the mascara or eyeliner. We have a battery of tests that we do um, for patients when they come in. We do the VIMP test, we do um, calorix testing, we do rotary testing. Um, with the VIMP test, we use electrodes and little earphones that they use to put up there up to their ear with clicking noises. So they lift their head up and down. The next part of the test consists of the rotary chair. Um, they will have a set of goggles on that I use to record eye movements. Um, they will be strapped into a chair and the chair rotates with the patient. And the very last part is the caloric test. Um, again, the patient will have on a set of goggles that I use to record eye movements. Um, they will follow a red dot from um, some of the tests and then we will do positional testing where I have the patient lie down and um, raise up really fast. And then the last part of the test, I do um, water calorics. I put cold water in each ear and then I follow with warm water. When I do that part of the test, the patient may become dizzy, but that's something normal and it doesn't last very long, maybe a minute or so, and then it'll start to subside. Patients that comes in with claustrophobic issues, um, I generally, I, I go at their own pace. I don't rush them through testing. Um, I take my time and, you know, along with them, and I tell them we go at their pace, and if they need to stop, we can stop at any given time. Then I have patients that come in where their anxiety level is really high, and we have patients that come in that's very, very dizzy um, due to the fact that they couldn't, they couldn't take their medication the night before. And again, I, I take my time with them. We go at their pace, and we, we take our time so we can get through the whole entire ENG test. Some patients call prior to testing and ask the question if they need to bring someone with them. So we tell them it's up to them if they would like to bring someone, but 90% of our patients do come by themselves.